what all are you going to need for this project? You are going to need to go plug in your hot glue gun. You're going to need plenty of hot glue sticks. For the smaller basket here, I used craft cord. I just thought that it was going to make a cute basket and I wanted to try it with the craft cord to see if it would work and it worked fine. I loved it. Um, for this basket, I decided to try and use a heavy rope. This rope, the only reason I'm doing this rope is because this rope was on sale at Walmart for $8.99 and it was 75 feet. And so I wanted to see how the basket would look with a thicker rope. And so that's why I chose this one. You can choose whichever, whatever you want, piping cord, uh, filler cord, cotton filled cord. That stuff is pretty expensive though. And I just kind of don't, didn't want to spend that much money on it. And so, um, you know, you're wrapping it. So why not use rope? You're going to need some pinking shears. Uh, regular scissors, gonna need six fat quarters, and I got these fat quarters, it's in my haul video. I got these for uh, 99 cents at Joann's the other day because they had a great uh, door buster sale for fat quarters for 99 cents. And so whenever they have that sale, I always go and buy it. Just because, um, you know, I, I like being able to pick small quarters of fabric for a dollar instead of having to wait in line to cut them. And so I don't mind paying a dollar for a fat quarter. So those are the fabrics that I'm going to use Easter colors. And I think that that is just about all you need. If you want to sew this fabric onto the rope, you can do that. To me, that's just way too time consuming. And um, I love my trusty hot glue gun. So that's what we're going to use today is my hot glue gun. And that's what I used for this. And it holds up just fine. And, um, you know, this is uh, this basket I'll use as a dinner roll basket. I have bigger ones that don't have the handle on them that I've used for dinner roll baskets, and um, I just love them. And so they're just fun to have, and they're easy to make, and why not? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to cut our fat quarters. And we are going to cut them into two-inch strips. And I am going to use my pinking shears. If you don't have pinking shears, it doesn't matter. Use regular scissors. Um, I just love the way the pinking shears come out. That rugged look, not the straight look. And, you know, keep in mind, we are just wrapping this around rope. So when you're cutting this, it does not need to be perfect. You don't need to use your rotary cutter. If you want to use your rotary cover, cutter because it goes faster for you, go for it. Um, but I'm just gonna use my pinking shears and I'm gonna do about a two inch strip. I'm not even measuring because it doesn't matter. It's not, you're not gonna be able to tell. So why waste the time? So I've kept my fat quarter folded. I just unfolded it this way and Kept it folded the long ways so we have our strip here. So out of each fabric quarter, you should get about 10 two inch strips. And so, yeah, I'm gonna cut my strips of each color. And I will tell you that for this basket, I used five fat quarters and it took all five of them exactly. And the amount of craft cord that I used for this basket was 30 feet of craft cord. And if you buy one of these one pound bundles at Walmart for $4.87, it will make four baskets this size. It will make four of this size basket. And so for $4.87, and then you figure five fat quarters at $5, you've just made an adorable Easter basket for each of your grandkids or each of your kids for literally, I would say about $6.50. And I mean, yeah, you can get baskets cheaper, but these baskets are so stinking cute and this Easter basket is gonna be adorable when we're done. And so I just wanted to try the rope this time to make a bigger basket for Allie, but these craft cord baskets are amazing. Okay, so I am done cutting all my strips in each color 
and now it is time to go on to the next step. So we are gonna need our hot glue gun and our glue sticks, or you're gonna need a needle and thread, whatever your choice. So I've got one of each color now, and now I'm just going to hot glue them together in the order that I've chosen them to be in. So with your fabric, your first piece right side up, you're gonna take your second piece and it's gonna go right side down facing it. You're gonna take your hot glue gun and you are going to do just a small little line of hot glue along the top edge there. And then you're gonna take it face down, your other piece strip, and press them together. So when you open it, you've got your two right side up faces. So now you're gonna go right side up, take your next fabric, face down and like I've said this doesn't have to be perfect and the thing with the hot glue is it's fine it'll be a bit bulky in the rope but that's what you want you want that uneven look when you're wrapping your rope so now we're going to do the next strip your fabric right side face down and just press them together. If you wanna sew these, go ahead and sew them across. This is just an option for no sew baskets for people who don't sew. And I've made one sewing before. It takes a bit longer, but um, it came out just as good. Okay, so we've got all six of our pieces together. You're only going to do six at a time because this will get too long and when you're wrapping it around your cord it begins to be a headache. So don't glue more than six of them together. Okay so we've got our fabric and we've got our rope. So we are going to start on the wrong side of the fabric where the seam is, not the nice side. We're going to take our rope and we're going to go about an inch below the top. Go ahead and put a nice bead of hot glue and fold it down. Now we're going to take our side, put some glue here. and fold this over. And we're gonna do this side. And fold it over. So you're left with this, and then you've got a real pretty side on this side. Now what you're gonna do, you are going to take and just start wrapping your rope. I'm kind of anxious to see how many feet this rope takes, being as thick as it is. This is how it should be looking. And when you're wrapping, you don't want your fabric to be straight. You want it to have those wrinkles in it. That's what makes it look more rugged and Okay, so we finished our sixth and final color of 
that strip set. So now what we're going to do is we are going to leave about this much fabric. We're going to kind of fold it to a triangle. We're going to wrap it. And once we've wrapped it, we've got this little piece left out here. We're going to put a dot of hot glue in there. and just glue it off like that and finish that off like that. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to take, this is gonna be folded to the edge there. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put a bit of glue right here and then just fold it down and over like so. Then we are going to take and go to the underside here. I'm going to put a dot of glue. I'm going to wrap it there so it looks like this. And off we go wrapping again. Okay, so I just finished my second set of six strips. And so now, like I did before, I'm gonna fold this over, put some hot glue here, and continue wrapping it. To finish, to finish it off. So now what I suggest we do is this is the amount of rope that I have here. And although this is not enough to finish the basket, I'm gonna start wrapping my basket because I don't know how much rope I'm gonna need and I don't wanna wrap too much and I don't wanna uh, be left with too much and waste it. So as I do to every two sets of six, I stop wrapping and then I start making the basket. So I can see how big I want the base, how tall I want the basket. And so um, that way it gives me an idea of how much more I'm gonna need. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the end of our rope and we are going to hot glue it flat. Then what we're going to do is we are going to just kind of donut roll it and try to put the hot glue right in the middle of the rope so it doesn't show as you're wrapping it. and you don't wanna to put too much so it squeezes out. You just wanna put enough to hold your fabric together and that way you're not seeing the hot glue in the seams on either side. Okay, so this was two sets of six. So that's 12 strips right here. So I think I'm gonna do about two or three more sets of six because I want my basket to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rolls wide. Okay, and also before um, I go any farther, I just took my soft measuring tape and measured um, the fabric, me measured what I had done already. And it was 55 and a half inches, which is roughly about four and a half feet is what this part is so far, which we have wrapped, was four and a half feet. And so I'm gonna keep track from here on out to see 
how many feet I use because I really wanna know how many baskets um, I can get out of this rope and how many feet of rope it takes to make uh, the size basket that I'm making. So I'm gonna keep track of that, but we are at four and a half feet from here. And so, which was 55 inches. Okay, so I've just done another 59 inches from the end of this green here, from the end of the green down, which was another two sets of six strips. So I am going to start gluing this around until we have eight layers and we'll see where that takes us, if that was enough. Okay, so we are done with the base. I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. This was the bottom part of the basket, and this is, I'm choosing this to be the bottom because this is where the bump from the rope is. It's raised right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to flip this over, and this is just a prettier size. I'm happy with the circumference of it. I think this is a nice, good size, and, um, I think I'm about nine feet into the rope. Okay, so now we are going to start raising the walls of it. And we are just going to take this edge here and we are going to slightly start raising it and gluing it up. And so we'll start right here. See how we raised the wall. Oh, this basket is going to be so stinking cute. I cannot wait. I think Ellie is going to love this and the color of fabrics that I chose are absolutely perfect for Easter. We've done the first row of the wall, so now um, I'm just gonna continue on wrapping um, my cord here. I've got plenty of fabric okay, strips. So I have made my basket as big as I want it, and I have nine rows of rope, and this is a good size basket. I think it is super cute. You can see that this is a pretty sturdy basket so far. Um, what is left to do is just finish off this edge. So I wanted to show you how I go about finishing it off and um, what we do for the handle, and then uh, we're done. So um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna finish gluing this off here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with the end here is I am gonna cut this down at an angle so there is a nice point and it kind of goes flat underneath so we can glue it down and it'll kind of go flat. Okay, and so I've got this fabric here and I'm going to cut it. I'm gonna take this fabric and I am going to cover up this orange end. And then 
we're just going to take and glue this down. Just like so. Super easy. And so now all that's left to do is just our handle. Okay, so for the handle, I'm going to be honest with you all. The six fat quarters that I used for this basket was not enough. It was it was just enough to make this exact size basket. And this basket is 30 feet exactly in rope. And so it was bigger than the 25 I was hoping for, but I used 30 feet of rope just for this. And the six fat quarters covered that 30 feet of rope. And luckily, because Kayla had found this fabric, this flower one that we loved so much, I had bought an extra of it. So I went ahead because I hadn't bought an extra of any of the other colors and I didn't want to pull out another fabric that wasn't going to match, that was either going to be darker or mismatch or that you didn't see in here. And so I went ahead, grabbed a seventh fat quarter and um, used the whole fat quarter to wrap the handle. So the handle I have chosen is 50 inches, but when you fold it in half, it is 25 inches long. And so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pick whatever size you want your handle to be, and you're just gonna double it, and then you are going to glue the two pieces together. Total, it would have needed, if I would have bought seven fat quarters, it would have been perfect for this size for this size basket, which is a decent size basket. The diameter of it is nine and a half, like 10 inches. So it's a 10 inch in diameter basket. The circumference of it is 10 inches. So that's a pretty decent size basket. Okay, so our handle is done. It is 25 inches long. I've glued it together so it's good and sturdy. So now all that's left is just to attach it to our basket. And I'm going to attach it where the basket ends. I'm gonna go down about an inch and a half and that's where I am going to attach it to the inside. Okay, so that side is done. Now that's left is the other side. And that is gonna go right like so. So I am going to put a bunch of hot glue there. And attach it right there. Okay, <clears throat> Okay, so there we have it everybody. We have a no sew fabric rope Easter basket. Isn't that just stinking adorable? Okay, I'm gonna say it because I always do. I absolutely love this. It doesn't get much cuter than this. It doesn't get much more DIY than this. And what a fun, cute Easter basket for this Easter. So I think, like I always say, you should go and make your kids or your grandkids a DIY handmade Easter basket and that they can use over and over each year and know that it was made from the heart of grandma or it was made from the heart of mom. So. That's what I'm doing for Allie this year, and I think she's going to love this, and I love this basket. I hope you loved this basket enough to go out and do it. I think that uh, 
This basket is just as cute that we made out of the craft cord. It's a little bit more uh, softer and flimsier, but it's still, you know, well put together. This one is not as soft. This one is pretty sturdy. I think that um, it would hold quite a bit of stuff in here just fine. And I think altogether this used 34 feet of rope for this bigger one. And this smaller one was actually 30 feet of craft cord. So it's all just dependent on what you are looking to make it for and what you want out of this project. I mean, you can do this in any color. You can just do it for any reason at all. Say you're making somebody a gift basket at the office or you're auctioning something away, make something like this, you know, and put it in there. Make something small like this and put Bath and Body Works in it for your friend. I mean, just an alternative maybe to a gift bag. I think they're cute, they're fun, and I enjoy making these, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. So if you all liked this video today, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am almost to a 1,000 subscribers, everybody, so thank you to each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel and have watched my videos. I appreciate it more than you know, and this has been a fun eight months, nine months of me doing YouTube. And I just want it to continue, so keep subscribing. And remember that for every 100 subscribers up to 1,000, I will be having a giveaway, one of my handmade creations. So in order to receive one of my handmade creations, you've got to subscribe and you have to stay subscribed, everybody. So go out, make yourself some Easter baskets, and stay tuned for more upcoming Easter videos to come. I have some really super cute ideas, and I just wanted to get this one up and out to you so you have a couple months to do it still. So have a good day, everybody, and until next time, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now.